हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज लाइक हाउ वी आर ऑटोमेटिंग इटियल थिंग्स एंड हाउ वी आर वैलिडेटिंग मिलियंस ऑफ डेटा एंड वेन सोर्स इज लाइक एनी फाइल और एनी अदर लाइक डेटा बेस एंड इन टारगेट इज मे बी लाइक क्लाउड बेस्ड और समटाइम टारगेट इज लाइक डेटा बेस एज वेल एंड फाइल सो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू वैलिडेट डेटा इफ द सोर्स एंड टारगेट बोथ are different or present in different server so in that case we would be needing some automation tools so whether you can learn python or any language or maybe you can learn selenium as well but um, i'll suggest you to start with the simplest one so c sharp is very simple language which you can use to automate the things because in my current uh, project also we are using c sharp to automate the etl things and validating the data uh, okay so uh, in today's video i am going to cover like how to install visual studio to practice c sharp uh, language and the basic and uh, i'll run one basic uh, program as well so in the in my upcoming videos i'll cover other topics as well like how to read a data from a file and how to export it in uh, any other file and also uh, like export the data from the um, database as well and validate both the data when uh, like there are millions of records and how to identify the mismatches so all these topic i'll cover in my upcoming videos so let start with the basic one so um c sharp is also a like a language like python but c sharp uh, is based um, build on the dot net framework so that's a that is basically a microsoft one and uh, whatever uh, i mean we can build any uh, we can automate things based on the console or the windows uh, platform as well but in etl we have to use a console one so first understand how to install um, id i mean where you have to write a code and to learn to run um, any uh, c sharp uh, language program okay so for that uh, just go on this link visual studio dot microsoft dot com this community link <coughs> and download the visual studio once you download it and after that click on the exe one let me download <coughs> so we have to download this one c sharp one see now the visual studio this exe file got downloaded now just click on it and after that um, install it once you install this one you you will see uh, that type of icon on your desktop just click on it <coughs> now you are going to uh, run the application on the console once so create click on this uh, create a new project link here you could see so many uh, like platforms are there like console app asp.net and web application purpose if you want to uh, write a program for asp.net you can select this one but for uh, but for etl purpose we have we can select this console app so just click on it and create click on the next one here you need to give the name for your project so i am going to write give one name like test next uh, so whichever framework you want to use you can select it so for now i am using dotnet 6.0 now click on create okay so same name solution is already present so i need to change the name test one
सो इट्स क्रिएटिंग अ प्रोजेक्ट फॉर यू वेयर यू कैन राइट योर कोड टू ऑटोमेट द थिंग्स ओके सो दिस इज हाउ दी सी शार्प कंसोल प्लेटफॉर्म लुक्स लाइक दीज आर कॉल्ड दी सोल्यूशन एक्सप्लोर वेयर यू कैन लाइक लिंक ऑल दी डी एल एस एंड अदर नेम स्पेसिस एज वेल ओके एंड हियर यू हैव टू राइट डाउन योर कोड दैट यू सपोज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट सम uh um, data from the source that is uh, like file and target is uh, like any database for that purpose you have to write a code here so let understand the basic things first so uh, here as you can see that using system name space classes so many uh, uh keywords that we are using here so let understand all the basic things uh, one by one so first understand what is class so class is basically a collection of data and methods okay means uh, inside any class we have to define some variables and methods as well so uh, uh, class basically holds data and methods i'll let Uh, so like this we suppose this is called a class which holds data data and methods okay so next keyword that you are seeing is name space okay so name space basically a collection of many classes so in a single code you can create multiple classes so suppose one class you have created to open any files and second class you have uh, created to write something on the uh, excel uh, file so like that way you can create multiple classes and same kind of classes you can kept in one name space so here the name space name is hello world because uh, i am going to print this hello world so suppose if you want to um, uh you are uh, uh, doing some operation on the file so you can change that name space as a file uh, related sum so it means uh, name space basically is a collection of classes name space it it holds various classes okay so uh, so suppose uh, one name space the uh, one name space is there that uh, holds uh, all the file related operations so uh, whichever classes you have created you can kept all the same kind of classes inside one name space okay so i hope you understood like name space class so class uh, as i told you it basically a collection of data and methods now comes to using so using is a like using uh, is a inbuilt uh, doc inbuilt uh, inbuilt system which means we can use classes from the system name space so so many uh, classes are already inbuilt uh, in the system name space so you can use it so uh, like console dot write line so that that whatever function uh, method we are using like write line that uh, that already is uh, in sto uh, stored under the system name space so that's why we have included using name space means we are using system name space it means uh like this way uh, one inbuilt name space uh, is created by the c sharp which hold uh, various method and classes so in this class we are using write line uh, method okay and console dot uh, so uh, this way also you can write it 
system dot console dot write line okay here it means we are using a system name space and then the class is console and the method is write line okay now uh, i already told you like name space is used to organize uh, your code and it's like a container for your classes and other name spaces and uh, that curly braces uh, indicate that um, that it is the beginning of your code okay and uh, class i already told you it holds like data and methods now each class have one uh, main functions okay so main method always appear in c sharp so whenever you write any class you should define one main method so once you start once you run this code uh, the c sharp will uh, first search for the main method so whenever it find one main method it will execute all the code that you have written inside that main method okay so here we have used uh, using uh, we have used system name space and we have created one uh, name space uh, and we have given name like hello world because in this name space we are printing uh, hello world and after that we have created one class which it will hold data variables so in my next class i'll uh, let you know like how to define uh, data and methods so but first understand all the keywords that we have to use in c sharp okay so we have created one class which name we have given program and static void bin i'll explain you in my next video first understand uh, the basic things so uh, uh, as i told you in each class you have to define one main method so we have defined it uh, one main method that is static void void means it will not return any value okay and uh, that is string arguments we are passing and system dot console dot write line means we are using a uh, system name space and class console and write line is a, a method um, of the system name space and now here we are using hello world so let's run this code so uh, you have to click this one but before that uh, just click on the build and rebuild your solution see so um, rebuild me your solution means you are checking is there any uh, like error coming in my code or not it's like compiling a code okay so here you could see that like um, success one zero fail it means that code got compiled successfully with zero failure now click on this green um, arrow So here whatever uh, text we have written inside system.console.writeLine it got printed okay so like this way this is our you can say, uh, say that this is the first test program and in my next video I will tell you like how to define variables how to create uh, any other class so we'll uh, I'll try to make a complete series for C sharp so that we, which we can use to validate um, data from source to target and uh, with the same set of code we will uh, try to find out like duplicate data and any missing records in source to target so please uh, keep watching my videos till then bye